All right, what's up guys, it's your boy Kaz. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do objects animated flying through your flyer or your composition. So basically we're gonna be doing 3D flyers, quote unquote. Um, this was actually requested by DJ Green. Shout out to DJ Green. Um, he DM me, he said, hey, how is it going? Thank you for providing dope, helpful tutorials on Blender. I watched almost all of your videos and I gotta say that they are definitely helping me learn Blender. I seen you uploaded a video on floating logos and wanted to know, would you happen to know how to do floating objects like this one? And so he sent me a link. When I clicked on the link, he also said to go to the last flyer. And it's basically just a regular 2D flyer with um, objects floating through it. Very easy and simple to do. Let's get to it. All right, so here in Blender, I already have pretty much everything set up. I have my objects that I know what I'm gonna use. Um, I have my camera set up as a horizontal, so it's gonna be 1920 by 1080. This is gonna be uh, for YouTube. Um, and then, of course, I have my text already all set up in there. You could actually animate the text. That, that'll be the cool thing about this. You can make the text rotate in 3D. Um, or um, you could just leave it like that and uh, have the objects just going through it, right? But to make it quick and seem simple, short, I'm just gonna show you how to make those objects go in through your composition and then, you know, go out at the same time. So go in and out. And um, it's actually very easy and simple to do. Um, so let's get to it. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and set up your um, timeline at 150 frames. So it's gonna add on, uh, at 150. And you're of course, I, like I said, I already have everything set up, I have materials. So basically, just to go through, give you a quick um, input of the materials that I used. Um, I have, I have a, a glass material on my text over here. I have the same text duplicated, but I made it smaller so it fits inside the, um, the, 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 the default text. And I added a uh, glow effect, so like an emission, I bring that up and I made it like a pinkish, reddish, like somewhere around there. Then I have our platform and a chrome material. And um, then on the objects, I pretty much have a glass material, but the roughness, I bring it up a bit, so it's not completely see-through, it's not completely clear, but you can still see, see through it a, bit, a little bit. I think it's called glass morphism. So it looks like you can see through it a little bit, but it's still a bit faded. And um, I think that's pretty cool. So basically, now that I gave you all that input, um, all you want to do now is select your first object. Um, hold on. Let's, let me get rid of this over here. So select your first object, right? So this object, I already know, I already planned ahead of time that I'm going to want this object to go ahead and swing by my screen and be out over here so to do that all you want to do is make sure you're on frame number one while on your viewport um click i on your keyboard to insert a keyframe and you're going to insert a location and rotation keyframe once you have that you want to go to the um end point which is 150 frame and you want a g to grab your object and you want to make sure that you put it on the opposite side of the screen and you're going to rotate it on the z a bit just a, a little bit and on the um y slightly a bit and you're gonna go ahead and i insert location and rotation again to actually make that happen and so you're gonna have something like this let me actually show you let's go ahead so it's basically just rotating slowly and going through my um text so once you have that you pretty much again so easy and simple to do. Do the same thing for the other objects. So we're gonna go ahead and select this one. I to insert location rotation. Go to the end point. You're gonna go ahead and grab this. Go put that on the opposite side. Um, rotate it tiny a, a, a bit. So maybe over there. Um, R Y a bit. And you're gonna go ahead and I to insert location and rotation again. And so now we have something like this. Now, another thing you want, might want to make sure that you want to plan ahead of time is you might not want your objects to overlap. So over here, that works perfect in an overlap. Um, so some of them might have to be a bit more um, too forward than others. So GY, bring this back a bit so that they don't collide with each other when they go through the screen, if that makes any sense. So grab Y a bit, grab Y this one a bit forward, grab Y this one like this. Honestly, I think that should work. So, but again, 
this is pre pretty much what we got going on at the moment and they're just going through the screen and i think it looks super cool and then you could just go ahead and, and do the same thing for these over here but again i just wanted to show you a quick tutorial i hope you guys did enjoy it um uh again dj green i hope i answer your question if i did please make sure to drop a like down below if you guys have any questions uh of you know any sort i know that whether it's animation typography logos flyers anything feel free to ask subscribe for new content and i'm out